Adobe Creative Cloud Plugins and Integrations. Hi, I'm Matthias from Mamoworld.com and I want to show you the extension Pins and Boxes which I created for After Effects. So if you have an animation like this one here, Pins and Boxes can turn this into a dynamic layout, which means that if you change the content, so we can change some texts here for example, then everything updates instantly as needed. You can see that while I'm typing the text, the lines update for example, and also the entire animation updates fully automatically. To show you how Pins and Boxes is working, I've prepared this little project here with just this little icon layer and these two texts and some background. Uh, and now we want to create an automatic layout. So I first select this layer here, the text, and click on Pins. And this creates new shape layers that look like pins at the boundaries of this text. And the point here is that if I change this text, you can see that the pins always stay attached to it. And this means we can now parent other layers to it. So if we want this text to follow our, our main text, for example, we can just put it where we want it to be and then parent it to this corner layer. This is currently here layer number six is this pin. And so we can go to our second text to this layer here and parent it to this pin. And now if we change this, you can see that the second text stays attached to it, even if we add a second line. So let's say we want to create a box around this main text and also the second text. They should both be included in this. If we since we want both to be included, we also need some pins for the second text. So I select it. And this time I don't need uh, pins for all corners. And if you shift click on the pins button, you can choose here which pins you want. I just want one, let's say, for the left and right bottom corner of our text. And now we can select all those pins and then tell pins and boxes, please create a box around all those pins, which contains all those pins. So we click on box and we get a shape layer, which does exactly this. Let's say we want no fill and a bigger stroke. And let's also say we want to have some margins. So you can see that on our shape layer, which is named box here, we've got some effect controls for margins. So we want to set the left margin to say 100 and copy this to the other sides quickly too. And now we've got a box around our content. And again, if we change our main text here, you can see that the box updates and follows the content accurately. You can even add content to a box later. And since this is based on shape layers, you have full control over the appearance. So you can add roundedness, for example. You find pins and boxes on aescripts.com slash pins and boxes with tons of tutorials and examples. Download the free trial there now.